Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bell Love. You can book your own personal private reading with me on my website at psychicbellalove.com. And if you use coupon code YouTube, it will get you $10 off any reading and everybody can use that code, new and current uh, clients. So I just wanted to take a little quick update peek, whatever, at the Sweetie and Quavo situation and see if they are still going to get back together or not. So Spirit, please join us and answer any questions that we have in regards to the relationship and breakup current status between Sweetie and Quavo. Thank you, Spirit. We ask only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding, not with any bad intent. Please bless and protect all who watch this reading as well as all who participate and watch. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. I am trying to sneak record wherever I can. My kids outside playing right now. So you guys know I like got rid of my desk. I got rid of all the stuff. Like I literally only have like a bed and nightstands in my room and one of my bookcases right now. Um, so that I could do a whole new setup. I have, well, my camera is actually or my phone is propped up on top of the box for my microphone and my lights um but I'm waiting for my new desk to come in I had to order a different one because the original one that I ordered took came late broken then so much drama I have missed you guys so much and then my kid was on spring break and him and his friends were just like running in and out of the house all day long Plus, I had a bunch of clients that I had to, um, you know, read for also, but it just made it almost damn near impossible to film when kids are running in and out all the time. So, hopefully he stays his little butt outside long enough for me to do this reading and then I do have to go because I have a client to talk to, but I had a little time today, so we're getting to it. So, and make sure you guys follow me on Station Head. All my information will be in the description box down below. I am on there every morning. We talk about all the celebrity stuff that's going on, and then we do daily spirit readings for our day. So, <sighs> okay, right now, like this is the thing, and I said this on Station Head, and you guys. You're gonna see more and more that I use cards less and less on here because I usually just use tarot to connect or save my energy. It's not my main method of reading. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna say probably doesn't even show up in the cards. It's just spirit talking to me because I'm connected. I feel like they've been broken up since right after Valentine's Day. They just didn't announce it. Sweetie was hoping that Quavo was gonna do something like big to win her back, right? So there was sort of that waiting period. Like, are you gonna do what I need you to do to prove yourself to me so that we can work things out? And there was sort of that moment where it was like, maybe they were still hooking up a little bit too. Cause she's showing up as the queen of cups and he's the emperor, which is not a surprise cause he's an Aries and she's a cancer. You know, and we do have this lover's card here where they were still kind of back and forth a little bit. However, there's been other stuff other than just because we do have the full card here. I mean, and we know Quavo hasn't acted in the best. Um, he does very much have that tendency when women reject him or he doesn't get what he wants from them any longer to be petty and vindictive because it's like that ego wound. Quavo needs to stop operating so much from his ego and grow up a little more. But because of that, like, he kind of broke his own heart here. Because it's like, he was saying dumb shit to Sweetie. Then she found out that he was talking to other girls. And it's like, so wait, you're trying to get me back, but you still got other bitches? Like, it was like, you know, Black China. Are you still texting other bitches? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of situation you know and so that's why to her it was just like I'm gonna let everybody know I am single as a Pringle and I'm ready to mingle you know like I'm done with his ass um Quavo you ruined this for yourself <laughs> I mean you're the one that caused the breakup anyways but you ruined it for yourself as far as why you guys haven't gotten back together yet 
There's still a chance, you guys, that they will get back together, though. It's really going to depend on how Quavo acts going forward. Because there is this death card here. And then the justice card with the palace of wands, which is talking about them trying to work things out. If they do actually work things out, guys, they will have a baby. So let's see if they actually are going to, because that's just the current energy right now. They both miss each other. They haven't gotten over each other. Like she still does care about him, even though she's mad at the way that he's, at the way that things happened, at the way that they fell apart. Also, it's like spirit saying, sweetie feels like I made you chase me and I made you do all this stuff. And the second that I stopped and I really started like showing you love and appreciation and like showing you that I was all in, like that's when you thought it was okay to go do stuff. So like, you know, I and we've all been there with some guy where it's like, okay, fine, I'll date you or whatever, you know, and then like, the second that we start actually liking the dude and being like, okay, maybe this is something, then they like do something super disappointing, right? And like mess it all up. And you're just like, oh, I didn't want to be with your ass anyways in the first place. You made me and now you're acting like this. You know, it's like, that's how sweetie feels. Like you wanted me to be so warm and loving and oh my God and baby you and do all these things. And then I do it. And this is how you repay me. Like what the F, you know, like... Why was you begging me to be so like affectionate or so this or so that with you if you were just running around in the streets behind my back anyways? So it's just now like spirit saying because of the stuff that he's doing, putting out the music that he's putting out, dissing her in records, you know, just doing the other stuff. It's like, okay, you know, um, now I have to do a Khloe Kardashian if we get back together, you know, because it's like, now everybody's going to judge me. Like, that's the other thing, too, that I feel her being pissed about. Like, I can't even try to work things out with you because if I do then you're going to sit here and like everybody's going to be mad at me. Like he was dissing you. He was doing this. He was doing that. Like why would you get back together with him? <laughs> They're going to get back together for a little bit, you guys. If we find out about it, it will have been one of those things where it's like they were working things out behind the scenes or they were together longer than we knew that they were. However, it's going to end again because there's too much resentment that's built up. You know, like at first it's like Quavo's trying everything. He's going to buy her a bunch of presents and he's going to think like, oh, I won. I got you back. Right? Right. Sweetie's doing it because there is still love there for her. She still hasn't completely moved on and there's still hope that like, you know, maybe he learned his lesson. Like maybe that's all it took was like, I just had to walk away and let him learn his lesson. However, Quavo hasn't grown up and he's not going to for a while. It's like, it's not that he doesn't, he loves Sweetie. Like that's the crazy thing. He loves her. It's just... Quavo has this tendency to self-sabotage, you know, and it's honestly, let's be honest, it is his peen that gets him in trouble and his ego because there is this whole, let's go out and be the Knight of Wands, double temptation of there's a hot girl I want to hit. I want the attention of that girl paying attention to me and sweetie's going to find out all over again. And then Quavo's going to end up with a broken heart all over again. So if we do see them get back together, it'll be short-lived. Like I said, there is the potential for a pregnancy there because Sweetie does want kids. But if it happens, it still won't keep them together. And then she'll just be like Iggy Azalea with a baby by herself online crying about, you know, this asshole did this to me. 
So wait. Let's just see. Is there, is there anything else you want to tell us? Thank you. But I don't see marriage and I don't see them lasting if they get back together. And this is the thing too that Spirit is saying. Like there's too much resentment on Sweetie's end when it really comes down to it. You know, it's like... I just, like, when it really comes down to the nitty-gritty, I can't 100% forgive you for the stuff you put me through. So I'm still, like, even though on the surface you're doing all the right things, you think that you're making it up to me. You think you're being good. But I just can't forget what you did to me last time and I can't trust you again. So, it, you know, that's why I say, guys, resentment is the, one of the hardest things to get past. Yeah, see, here it's, Waving a self sabotaging himself and slinging that peen around because of that ego trip. Just, sweetie, please don't give him another chance. <laughs> she keeps going back and forth on did I make the right decision, even announcing that we're not together. Should I have sat there and tried harder or longer? Should I have not even said anything and just like gave him more time to try to make it up to me? She does go really back and forth. Right now, she is really focused on her money. And sweetie, you have a lot of doors opening for you because of this. Like Quavo definitely was one of those people that was almost kind of like his negative energy was blocking her blessings. So if she goes back when he comes back around, it's just going to end up being a crying, fighting mess all over again and her having to heal from him again. So please, God, sweetie, don't get back together with him. Because it's just, if if you're going to end up breaking up and having to heal from it all over again and it's going to distract you, there's no point. So hopefully she's smart enough to just have a hot girl summer, get it out of her system, and then make some money moves and be the icy girl that she says she is. So with that said, guys, I love you all so very much. I'm going to let you guys go because my kid is coming inside and I have to get to my next client. But I love you all so much and I will see you all again soon. Make sure if you want to book a reading on my website, go to psychicbelllove.com. Use coupon code YouTube, all in caps, for $10 off any reading. And all that information will be linked down below. Bye, guys.